are at stake, and yet there seems to be no way around colonoscopy wait times in this province. Patients are forced to wait as long as three years, and in some cases, even longer. Colon cancer remains one of the deadliest forms of the disease, and while the health minister insists wait times are acceptable, it's clear the situation is urgent. The story from Billy Shields. We want to mention some of the images in this report could be disturbing. Three-year wait times for a colonoscopy at the Royal Vic made headlines this morning. But as one doctor at the Jewish General says, it can get worse. Now we're, we're working on a seven-year wait list for low-risk screening. Do you worry that this is going to endanger anyone's life? Absolutely. Absolutely. I worry every time a patient walks out of my office. Vasilevsky says that among five specialists dealing with elective screening at the hospital, each one has a thousand patients on their plate. And if you're on the urgent list, which requires screening once every three years, you can expect wait times of five years. Officials at the Royal Vic today denied reports that wait lists are so long that the patients are being turned away. Another issue that was raised was the issue about patients being shunted away to private clinics uh, and the uh, wait times being inflated artificially, which is com complete bogus. And today, Health Minister Yves Bourdieu insisted that wait times for preventative colonoscopies across Quebec were within an acceptable range. For the elective colonoscopy, they are done in less than one year. Bolduc says the province is working on a program to reduce wait times, but didn't say when it would arrive. Perhaps no one is more aware of the effect of wait times on a person's life than attorney Barry Stein. After being diagnosed with colorectal cancer in 1995, Stein had to get creative to obtain treatment. At that time, it wasn't a question of lack of access to colonoscopy. That wasn't even in the picture. It was a question of lack of access to surgery at that time. So I was obliged to leave the country, actually, for surgery. Yesterday, Stein launched a PR campaign to raise awareness for colorectal cancer, one of Canada's most deadly forms. Colorectal cancer is the second leading cause of cancer death in Canada. And we also know that it's something that is absolutely preventable, uh, treatable and beatable. But the need to diagnose the disease is only growing. And Quebec doctors like Vasilevsky just hope they get the needed resources. Over the past number of years, the requests have just mushroomed and we can't cope with the demand. Billy Shields, Global News, Montreal.